Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the KB Shimmer Office Space Collection. There are eight polishes here all together. These are all neutrals, kind of based off of the movie Office Space. These are releasing on January 4th, so I will link the website down below where you guys can check these out. Like I said, eight polishes all together, and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Caught on Tape, and this is a very, very pale pinky nude cream. It is showing up a little bit less pink on camera than it actually is in person. So here is one coat. This one is just a bit streaky on that first coat, so it is going to need two, maybe three, but probably just two. Good formula on this one. It is a tiny bit thin. I do feel like it would run down the sides of the nail if you did too thick of a coat. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. Obviously, I am going to recommend top coat, but it does dry pretty shiny on its own. So there is two coats of caught on tape. The next polish is called Take Back Control, and this is a medium, kind of dusty, rosy pink color. So here is one coat. This one is just a touch streaky on that first coat, so it is going to need two. Great formula on this one. So here is two coats. And this one covers completely in two and deepens the color quite a bit. And like the last one, it dries very shiny on its own. So there is two coats of Take Back Control. The next polish is called Make and Copies, and this is a light, light gray holographic. So here is one coat. This one is pretty sheer on that first coat, but it is very sparkly. This is definitely one that will run down the sides of your nail if you're not careful to do a thinner coat. So here is two coats. This one is starting to build up on two coats, but it is still a bit sheer, so it will need three. And when it dries, that holographic is much stronger than it is when it's still wet. So here is three coats. This one is still a tiny bit uneven on that third coat if you look really closely. I don't think it's that big of a deal because there is so much sparkle going on that it's really distracting, but it is still there. And that might just be my application too. It's going to be different from person to person, but I can still see a little bit of, I don't know, pink, I guess, my nail shining through. And this does dry a little bit dull, so you will want top coat. So there is three coats of Make and Copies. The next polish is called Facts of Life, and this is almost like a cement gray holographic. So here is one coat. This one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. Great formula on this one, and a nice strong holographic as well. So here is two coats. And this one actually builds up to cover completely in two, which I wasn't really expecting. I think depending on your application, you might have some streaks and want a third coat, but for me, it's good on two. And it does dry a tiny bit dull, so you will want top coat. So there is two coats of Facts of Life. The next polish is called Cubicle Pusher, and this is a kind of like dusty, almost pinky, purpley taupe color. It's kind of hard to describe. I thought it was going to be really similar in color to Take Back Control, but it's definitely more purple and almost a little bit on the brown side compared to that one. And if I didn't mention, it's holographic. So here is one coat. This one also a little bit sheer on that first coat. Great formula though. I do feel like if you do too thick of a coat, it can get thicker, pull up on the sides of the nail a little bit. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two and gets considerably darker. This dry is pretty shiny on its own, and like all holographics, it will be a lot stronger of a holographic once it's completely dry. So there is two coats of Cubicle Pusher. The next polish is called Supplies Party, and this is kind of like an off-white base with silver flakies, like super reflective silver flakies and holographic in there. So here is one coat. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat, but super, super sparkly. This is another one that I do feel like if you did too thick of a coat, it's going to run and pool at the sides of your nail. So you do want to try to thin your coats out. So here's two coats. So this one builds up well on two, but I do still have some spots that are pink where I can see my nail, like the skin under my nail showing through. So I'm going to do a third coat. And this one does dry a tiny bit textured. Not terrible, but you will want top coat. So here is three coats. And three coats does cover up those little pink spots shining through that I had. Again, you will want top coat for this. It's not 
terribly, terribly textured, but I think some of that holographic is little tiny micro glitters, and so you can feel a little bit of roughness. So there is three coats of Supplies Party. The next polish is called A Hint of Manila, and this is a light tan base with silver holographic micro glitter. So here is one coat. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat, but you do get a ton of glitter out. Great formula on this one. So here is two coats. This one is building up nicely, but I can still see my nail line pretty well, so I'm going to do three. This is going to dry very textured because there is a lot of micro glitter in this, so you will definitely want top coat, maybe even two coats of top coat. So here is three coats, and this one does cover completely in three. Because this is a lot of micro glitter, this is going to be a difficult polish to remove, so I would suggest using a peel off base coat or something like that before you put it on. So there is three coats of a hint of manila. And the last polish is called a staple relationship, and this is a kind of purpley gray with silver holographic scattered in there, and then a ton of those super reflective silver flakes. So here is one coat. And this one covers really well on that first coat, just a little bit sheer still. Great formula on this one. So here is two coats, and this one it covers completely in two. This is mostly flakes, so it does dry pretty smooth. It's a little bit dull, so you will still want top coat, but it shouldn't be difficult to remove, except those little flakies are going to stick to the skin. So there is two coats of Staple Relationship. Two favorites from this one. Uh, Caught on Tape is the first one because it's a really nice super pale pink neutral color and I really liked it on my skin tone. I like really really light, almost even lighter than my skin which is pretty light nudes on me. So I liked that one and then I also really liked Making Copies because it's really really close to a white holographic. It's not quite there. I don't even think that this is entirely possible but it is really close a barely gray holographic. So that is the KB Shimmer Office Space Collection. Again, those are releasing on January 4th. I will link the website down below where you guys can check those out. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.